Hi there, students. Obtuse, an adjective. Obtusely, the adverb. And I guess as well the uh, noun obtuseness. Okay, if somebody, if you describe somebody as obtuse, you're saying they're slow to understand. Um, they're a bit dim-witted. Either that or they're unwilling to try to understand. So the answer to this question is really easy. Or are you trying to be deliberately obtuse? Okay, so obtuse, not willing to understand. Okay, so obtuse as an adjective, um, intellectually dull or dim-witted. Um, let's see, the origin or the basic meaning of this for me in mathematics is an obtuse angle. You have an acute angle and an obtuse angle, an angle of more than 90 degrees. Okay, um, so that is an obtuse angle. Yeah, one that is more than a 90 degree angle. So this line comes in at on an obtuse angle. We're thinking about this one, not this one. Okay. Um, you can also use obtuse in botany or geometry, um, something that's rounded at the end. It's an, a leaf could be obtuse. It's not got a sharp end. It's got a rounded end, and that is also obtuse. You could describe an, a sound as obtuse. It's deafened, muffled, muted, not very clear. There was an obtuse thump in the distance. And then as well, obtuse, indirect or circuitous. So he, he arrived at the conclusion via a very obtuse route. Yeah. Um, OK, so obtuse, intellectually dull, dense, dim-witted, a bit thick. Yeah, of a sound deafened or muffled. An obtuse angle, um, and then in botany or in zoology, a rounded end. Yeah, the leaf has an obtuse end. Okay, but let's see. Mostly we m we use obtuse as uh, maybe a sophisticated way of saying slow, difficult to understand. You could also use it to mean uh, tactless and insensitive. Um, his comments were so obtuse that uh, he, he ended up upsetting everybody. Yeah, it was unfeeling, a bit blunt and dull. Um, yeah, he made an obtuse statement without thinking about how people would react to that. So maybe he's a bit dim or slow. Yeah, okay, so it's obtuse, lacking quickness or intellectual perception. Yeah, lacking sensitivity, m more of his obtuse remarks, or maybe even a pain that is not acutely felt, an obtuse pain. Yeah, you don't feel it distinctly, but there's this obtuse throbbing, perhaps. OK, so th this is the idea of obtuse. He um, obtusely refused to understand what I was trying to explain. Yeah, he's being deliberately obtuse. He's b blocking. He's being difficult. Yeah. OK, so obtuse, slow, stupid, simple, a bit thick, dumb, sluggish, simple minded. Yeah. Um, and many others as well. Thick, dull witted, imperceptive. He's a bit of a blockhead. He's uh, rather obtuse. Um, OK, his explanations can be very obtuse at times. So not going directly to the point, but going around the houses before they get there. So uh, excessively complicated and not obvious. Yeah, um, you just refuse to want to understand what I say. I think you're just being obtuse. Um, his obtuseness made it difficult for us to progress. 
I'm not trying to be obtuse, but I just don't understand what you're meaning. Yeah, I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Yeah, uh, I'm really not trying to be obtuse, slow, obstructive, without, uh, without quick wits, without quick thinking. So obtuse, how formal is this? This sounds like a literary word. I think I would give it 6.5, maybe 7 in formality. Could you use it in an informal conversation? I would use slow or stupid. Yeah, I think for semi-formal and formal writings. And then as to origin, well, there's uh, a French word or a middle French word, obtuse, meaning uh, uh, obtuse in geometry or narrow minded, boring, dull and lifeless. And this itself comes from the Latin word obtusus. Yeah. OK. Ob. Uh, against and tundo to beat to strike to hit so to strike against yeah okay yeah it's a blunt instrument yeah he's a blunt mind okay so I hope my explanation was not too obtuse I hope you it was easy to understand enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye for now obtuse